welcome to the tutorial on installing SST with GEM5. This is a fresh installation of Ubuntu 12.04, the 64-bit. And I've just run sudo apt-get update and upgrade, so everything's current. So we'll get started by installing some packages that are necessary. They are G++, OpenMPI, LibTool, and Autoconf. So it'll be about 50 megabytes worth of data. And once that's done, what we're going to do is we're going to make a couple directories, and this will be common for all of the SST videos. We're starting in the home directory, and we're going to make a directory called SST. So everything relevant to SST will take place within this. And we're going to make two directories, local and scratch. And then within scratch, we'll make a source directory. And then uh, within this directory, we're going to get the boost uh, package. So this is necessary for the SST installation. Just using wget there. That's 60 megabytes worth of data. All right, so now we've we've got the download, and we're going to extract it with rxfz boost. And then once we've got the our file and we're going to extract it and we've got the boost directory here. So these are all the things inside that. And we're going to run this bootstrap shell script and we're going to tell it where we're installing it uh, to. So this is the home, my name, SST local packages boost. So this is where it's going to end up. So we're going to let this get started and let it run for a while, and we'll come back when it's done. Alright, so now we've got bootstrapping is completed, but before we uh, run the b2 command like it, it says, we're going to edit the projectconfig.jam file. So we're going to open up projectconfig.jam with gedit. On a line about 16 or so, right, after project, we're going to add a comment here. And I'm going to say using, this is the important thing, MPI, with a semicolon after that. So this is our important line that tells Boost to build with MPI. Now that we've got that, we'll take B2 install. So this command here will take about 30 minutes on a reasonably recent computer. See here it's using uh, full, it's saturating the CPU and we're using more memory, so this will be pretty intensive for a while, and I'll come back when this is completed. Alright, so we just finished installing the B2 install, and now what we're going to do is add the LD library path for boost. The way that we're going to do that is we're going to open up bash RC, which is in the home. So that's, we're adding G, uh, using gedit bash rc. And at the very bottom, we're going to put export ld library path equals and the path to where we installed boost. So this is uh, a permanent way. So instead of using export in my uh, shell, I'm just going to do it within bash rc. And then once I'm back to the shell, I can do source. 
mesh RC. Right, now if we can check, we have LD library path. So that is uh, what we set it to. And now we need to go get the uh, SST code. So we're going to go back to the SST uh, scratch source directory, and it's empty right now. And we're going to download uh, the code from Google Code. We're going to use wget, and this is 2.2 .2 version of SST. It's 40 megabytes. Once this is finished, we're going to extract it using tar xdf and then we're going to change into that newly extracted directory and that has all the things we're interested in, namely autogen and then after autogen comes the important step of configure. So with this configure step, what it's doing is it's configuring SST with boost and with Python. So we need to specify the correct paths for those that we've previously installed. So configure is what we run just before we use make. And we're going to do two we're going to make all and then make install. Alright, make all is the first command and that takes about uh, 15 minutes or so. So I'm going to get that started and then let it run for a little bit. So we just finished the make all, and now we're going to make install, which doesn't take quite as long. So once this is done, we'll do um, we'll go back to the bin, we'll go cd sst local, and there we, now we've got sst 2.0, 2.2. Within that, we've got a bin directory. So here's where SST actually lives. So we're going to do SST version just to see that it actually works, and it does. So now we're happy.